So here's an example of using the metric system. This is a fairly straightforward example. Um, a cross-country race is typically a 5K or 5 kilometers. Kilo is right here, so kilometer um, is pretty big. It's high up on this step system here. So if I have 5 kilometers, how many meters is this? Keep in mind, meters are smaller than kilometers, so it should take more meters to make up one kilometer. Um, each of these steps is a factor of 10. So if I take um, 5 kilometers times 10 would be 50, times another 10 would be 500, times another 10 would be 5,000. So it would be 5,000 meters. There you go. You can also do what we were doing in the earlier examples, which is use a conversion, conversion factor. So if I want to take 5 kilometers and multiply by a conversion factor, I'm going to turn kilometers into meters. I know from these steps that there, this is a step of one, two, three, so it's basically going to be three zeros. So there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. Each of these steps, like there's ten hectometers in a kilometer, and then there's ten of these in this, and there's ten of these in this, there's ten decimeters in a meter, ten centimeters in a decimeter, and so on. A lot of these make sense, like the prefix milla. Okay, second wave buses, 81, 8, 24, 60, 48. And if you live on Hogan and Childers, and normally ride bus 8, today you will ride bus 48. Repeating, 81, 8, 24, 60, and 48. And if you live on Hogan and Childers and normally ride bus 8, today you would ride bus 48. So the prefix milla means um, usually a thousand, like a millennia, or centa typically means a hundred. So there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, uh, just like there's a hundred cents in a dollar, or a century is a hundred years. Desa like a decagram is like 10 sides. Um, deca usually means 10, so there's 10 decimeters in a meter. It's helpful to know those, but you can also just know that each is a step of 10. In this case, I know there are a thousand meters in one kilometer or kilometer, and then I can just multiply across the top and across the bottom like we did before. Five times a thousand is 5,000, divided by one, which is just 5,000 meters. So the same thing. Again, you don't have to work this hard. I'm just giving you options. You can do whatever you want to do, as long as you can figure it out. Um, remember, each of these steps works with grams and liters as well. I've been talking in terms of meters, but if we have 80 milligrams of fluid, milla is down here, it's very small. How much is this in grams? So again, we could use like a conversion factor. I could do 80 milligrams and I know there are a thousand milligrams and one gram, and do 80 times one divided by a thousand, that works. Um, or here's another option you have, and it's maybe my personal favorite. Since each of these is a factor of 10, and we use a decimal system, like each number that we have, like if each of these literally is a factor of 10, and so if I have anything in the metric system that I want to convert, I can actually just use the, move the decimal, the number of steps that I make. That sounds kind of confusing. So here's an example. If I have 80 milligrams, how many jumps is it to get to grams, which is the base unit? So if I want to go from milla to grams, that would be one, two, three steps. And so all I have to do, here is my decimal currently, just move the decimal. Okay, this is final call for wave two, bus 81, 8, 24, 60, and 48. And if you live on Hogan or Childers, and normally ride bus 8, today you are to ride bus 48. Repeating, bus 81, 8, 24, 60, 48, and if 
you look on Hogan and Childers and normally ride bus 8, today you are to ride bus 48. Okay, so since I made three steps, I'll move the decimal three times and in the direction that I just went. So I'm going to move three steps to the left. One, two, three. My decimal is now here. I'm gonna fill that in with a zero. So this is 0 0.08 grams. That makes sense because that's a very small amount. That would also work on this one as well. If you wanna turn five kilometers into meters, that would be one, two, three steps to the right. So just move the decimal, one, two, three steps to the right, fill in zeros, and it would be 5,000 meters. So it's a pretty handy little trick. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about is time. You should be pretty familiar with these conversion factors. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. Um, and so you may want to use those to convert various things as well. For example, on your 14th birthday, how many minutes have you been alive? Probably a lot of minutes. If you ever get an answer that doesn't make sense, like if I got an answer that was like 0 0.02, that's probably wrong. So always think about, does your answer make sense? So let's set up a conversion factor for this one. So on your 14th birthday, that is 14, oh my goodness, I can't spell years. 14 years, um, how many minutes have you been alive? I do not know how many minutes is in a year. You might if you know that song from Rent, what is it? 525,600 minutes. Anyway, if you're not a musical theater fan, um, you may need to do a few more jumps. I like to make a plan. So I don't know minutes to years, but I know years to day because there's 365 days in a year, and then I know how many hours are in a day, and I know how many minutes are in each hour. So that's my plan. I'm going to need quite a few conversion factors. All right, that is why the bus is 106 and 79, and if you normally ride 83, today you'll ride bus 79. So we have 106, 79, and if you normally ride 83, today you'll ride bus 79. Alright, I'm going to set up all these conversion factors to where these cancel. So years and years are lined up to where they cancel, days and days cancel, hours and hours cancel, and I'm left in minutes. And I do need to fill in those numbers here. Um, in one year, there's 365 days. In one day, there's 24 hours. In one hour, there's 60 minutes. We're not going to seconds, I was about to go too far. And so just like before, these are just fractions, so you multiply across the top and across the bottom, and then divide those two numbers, and you get something very big. That would be 7,358,400. That is how many minutes you have been alive on your fourteen. I guess technically there's leap years, so that's a little off, but you know, close enough. Um, so, I'll call for white three, best 106, best 79, which includes students that normally ride best 83. Final call, best 106, 79, and 83 if you We'll write 79 today. Sorry we keep getting interrupted. I'm too lazy to restart this video, so we're just going to press on. Just keep skipping over the bus announcements. Oh my god. Teachers, at this time, please dismiss all remaining bus students to the cafeteria. Please remove the students from the cafeteria. Please remove the students from the cafeteria. All right. I want to mention just one more time, if you can figure these out without needing all the conversion factors, that's fine. Do it your own way. Like this one would not have been that hard to figure out that you just do 14 times the 35 and so on because there's nothing really exciting on the bottom happening. So feel free to just multiply or divide if you can figure that out. 
So let's go back to that original problem from the first video, which is, are me and my hiking friends going to make it to Sunshine Village, which was 22.5 kilometers away? Um, we did not have our phones that had service, so I didn't really, I wasn't able to look up how many miles are in a kilometer. I wasn't able to look up that conversion rate. And you don't need to know that conversion rate if you ever do a problem that's going from metric to standard. Um, those conversions will be given to you. You do, however, need to know the conversion rates within the metric system and within the standard system. You really need to study those. You're not going to be able to use that handout on a test. So we can look it up, but I did know this because I'm a runner. I know that a 5K race, which is five kilometers, is equal to approximately 3.1 miles. And that's a conversion factor. We can use that. Five kilometers to 3.1 miles. Those are equivalent, so this is like a one, basically. And so if I take the 22.5 kilometers, times this conversion rate. If kilometers is on top, I'll need kilometers on the bottom, so miles. I know that a 5K is 3.1 miles, so I had, to, I had to flip this, but that's okay. Now, multiply across the top, and you get 6.5. And on the bottom, we have a five, so we'll need to divide by that. And we get 13.95 miles. So we did make it. It was almost 14 miles, so we, we were okay. To wrap this up, I just want to show you guys something that I think is interesting, which is units are entirely made up. Somebody at some point in the history of the world decided we were going to use this metric system. They said, about this much, I'm gonna call that a meter. And then someone else came up with the standard system and it's become widely adopted, but those are not the only units that we have. And in fact, we could create our own units if we really wanted to. Plus there are also some really funny units out there. For example, if you want to take a second and guess what these are, like what do you think a beard second is? A beard second measures length and it is approximately the distance a beard hair grows in one second. So it's very small, it's about five nanometers, but it's the distance a beard hair grows in one second. A moot, you want to take a guess what that is? A moot is also a length, it's three inches. It's called a moot, who knew? A mickey, you can take a guess for that one. Also a length, it is the smallest possible movement of a computer mouse. The distance of the smallest possible movement of a computer mouse. It's about one over 200 of an inch. It's called mickey because like mickey mouse, get it, computer mouse. A jiffy is an actual unit of measurement. It is time. It's the time it takes for light to travel one centimeter in a vacuum. Um, this one is actually used. It has other meanings in like computer science and some other places. But And then a whiffle is, is a unit of measurement that you could use. And it is the size of a whiffle ball. It's approximately 89 millimeters in diameter, and apparently mar marine biologists use this sometimes when they're describing like the size of a coral. They might say it's like, oh, it's like five whiffles. Well, I think those are fun. You guys see that? This little tweet I saw the other day. It said, the room is about me and a half long. So even you, you could be a unit. If I lay down right here and I'd say, this is about, this room is about five Miss Deans, I don't know. Or I could say, this board is about 10 pens long. Anything could be a unit. You can create your own. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's everything. All right.